Hey everyone, Dave Erickson here with EverymanDriver.com and a rundown of the vehicles expected to debut this week at the 2017 North American International Auto Show in Detroit. Ford Motor Company announced the return of two iconic names in the Ranger pickup and Bronco. The Ford Ranger midsize pickup is expected by 2019 and the Ford Bronco midsize SUV by 2020. Joe Hendricks, Ford President of America, said both vehicles will be made in Michigan. Lexus unveiled a redesigned LS500. Upgrades include heated seats equipped to deliver the driver and passengers, a shiatsu massage, a panoramic roof, ceiling speakers, and technology that automatically detects pedestrians in the path of the vehicle, causing it to brake and maneuver around the pedestrian if there's a chance of a collision. Audi unveiled its Q8 SUV concept along with a new A5 and S5 Cabriolet. This Q8 was redesigned according to Audi to reach a new customer segment by combining the elegance of a coupe with the space and functionality of a full-size SUV, quote, you'll hardly find a car that is more luxurious, end quote. A new Lansing-built Chevy Traverse can tell when someone's left behind in the back seat. This crossover features a 3.6-liter V6 nine-speed automatic transmission, is expected to get General Motors estimated 25 miles per gallon. Safety features include surround vision, D-optic LED headlights, pedestrian and collision alert, as well as a low and high speed automatic braking. Mercedes-Benz unveils an E-Class Coupe equipped with a 3-liter VG bi-turbo engine and Eco start and stop. This E-Class can reach a top speed of 130 miles per hour and goes from 0 to 60 in 5.2 seconds, according to Mercedes-Benz, quote, it's the perfect combination of sportiness and luxury. Volkswagen reveals ID Buzz concept microbus. They revealed some images and details on Sunday night. Quote, the electric concept forges links between the origins of the Volkswagen brand and its electrifying future. This ID Buzz, like the compact ID presented at the Paris Motor Auto Show, is another new Volkswagen vehicle that gives compelling design to electric mobility and reflects a transformation of the brand and its models. While showing off its new Tiguan and Atlas R-Line, Volkswagen on Sunday hyped up its commitment to North America as it seeks to regain customers' trust after its diesel emissions scandal. So the German automaker debuted a new Tiguan and Atlas R-Line SUV in a pair of Detroit Auto Show debuts clearly aimed at the American audience. GMC revealed its redesigned, more compact 2018 Terrain SUV on Sunday night. Some of the changes in the design include dropping a couple of hundred pounds, the classic C-shaped LED lights on the front and rear with the iconic floating roof design and turbocharged engines, which include a diesel. Also on Sunday, Mercedes introduced its new GLA SUV in a colorful unveiling at the Book Cadillac Hotel in Detroit. The 2018 model has been updated with new front seats and other interior enhancements, according to Mercedes-Benz. Seoul, Korea-based Kia Motors is known for its value vehicles but hopes to spread out in a new direction with the production of the Stinger, a speedy performance car that hopes to compete with models like the BMW 6 Series and the Audi A6. They unveiled this vehicle, the 2018 Stinger, at the Russell Industrial Center in Detroit. On Sunday, Bentley revealed its fastest accelerating vehicle ever in the Continental Super Sports. This four-door vehicle is said to top out at 209 miles per hour and accelerates from 0 to 60 in an impressive 3.4 seconds, according to Bentley. Bentley says the convertible version is the fastest four-seat convertible in the world, hitting 60 miles per hour in 3.7 seconds and can reach top speeds of 205. Ram Trucks will introduce a unique special edition of the Ram 1500 Rebel with the debut of the Rebel Black. Fiat Chrysler Automotive reports in a news release that the Rebel Black will feature black anodized bezels on the doors, center console, instrument panel, and gauge trim rings. Features from the original Rebel like the all-black seats and embroidery with light gray stitching, tracing panels, consoles, doors, and seats will stay the same. Ford's going to debut a next-generation autonomous fusion hybrid featuring enhanced processing power through new computer hardware and adjustments to the electrical controls and sensor technology. These software and sensors serve as the virtual driver, according to Ford, and are backed by a laser, camera, and radar sensors that will reportedly give a 360 view up to two football fields. Ford has said its eyes were on 2021 for a, quote, high-volume fleet of self-driving cars for ride-hailing services 
and it also announced Wednesday it will triple its current fleet to 90 cars in the new year. The company has already been testing its autonomous vehicles on roads in Michigan, Arizona, and California. BMW plans to introduce an all-new 5 Series this week. BMW's new 5 Series has standard equipment, which will include adaptive LED headlights, fatigue and focus alerts, and 18-inch double-spoke wheels, among others. BMW's jump into semi-autonomous driving starts with several new features coming to the 5 Series, which includes a new user interface, gesture controls, remote 3D view, and improved voice control. Toyota will debut as 2018 Camry this week, and judging by the teaser photo, Toyota has changed up the design of the taillights and other aesthetics. The Japanese automaker was short on details, only saying that prepare to stare, which came with that teaser shot of the car's taillights. The Toyota Camry, by the way, has been America's top-selling car for 14 consecutive years. Chevrolet's makeover of its SUV lineup will wrap up with the debut of its 2018 Traverse this week. The automaker teased the new crossover Traverse in this dark image and news release touting its redesigned line of SUVs. The Traverse features a, quote, bold and refined design with a maximum seating capacity of eight. Chevy reports that the crossover SUV will offer its best third-row legroom and cargo space. A new technological upgrade to the Traverse includes de-optic headlights, headlamps, which are said to provide, quote, a natural daylight effect. Honda will be showing off its fifth-generation 2018 Odyssey minivan for the first time this week. The company announced the global debut of the minivan in a news release posted to its website on December 19th. This new Odyssey will feature powertrain technology and several new, quote, innovative features. Lexus will be showing off its new fifth-generation LS sedan to the world for the first time this week. The automaker's flagship sedan will show off its new coupe-like silhouette look, roomy cabin, and inventive technology. The, quote, introduction of the LS400 in 1989 in Detroit made automotive history as a world-class car for the U.S. Not only did the vehicle make its mark by offering the drive, performance, quietness, and luxury that customers expected from a premium vehicle, but its unveiling also heralded the birth of the Lexus brand. Mercedes-Benz plans to unveil its E-Class Coupe, which is technically based on a sedan as it features a front end with a low position grille, long hood, and muscular rear end. The Coupe comes in 190 inches long, 73.2 inches wide, and 56.3 inches tall, which makes it longer in every measurable when compared to last year's E-Class. It comes with a 3-liter V6 bi-turbo engine, eco start and stop, and has a top speed of 130 miles per hour and goes from 0 to 60 in 5.2 seconds, according to the automaker. As for autonomous features, the E-Class has forward collision and pedestrian detection sensors, emergency braking, and the drive pilot system. The system can keep the E-Class at a short distance behind and in front of vehicles on the road up to speeds as high as 130. The QX50 concept is described as a dynamic and practical SUV that comes with a driver-centric passenger-minded interior that meshes with the exterior design. While the QX50 concept SUV will debut, it will also usher Infinity into the autonomous technology realm as it will come with freshly rolled out self-driving features. The luxury division of Japanese automaker Nissan's autonomous technology will serve as more of a co-pilot rather than a full takeover, according to a press release. As for the control of the autonomous co-pilot, Infinity reports it will empower the driver rather than replace them. And those are just some of the vehicles being debuted at this year's 2017 North American International Auto Show in Detroit. Stay tuned for more updates on EverymanDriver.com. I'm Dave Erickson. Thanks for watching. Adios. <laughs> Every man driver nation, welcome back to the snowy Spokane ORV park here in North Spokane, Washington. I'm Dave Erickson and with me this week, a 2016 Mazda CX-5 all-wheel drive. Now, of course, this car may look familiar to you if you saw my just arrived video of this, but also because I did a review and an off-road review of this car last year. So Mazda said, Dave, we have a few more of these in circulation. If you can do something with it, we'll loan you another press vehicle before we transition into the 2017 model. I thought, I have an idea. All wheel drive, snow on the ground. Let me go off road and give the Everyman Driver Nation what they want. So here we are to do some snowy off-road driving.